piece of garbage phone. Click links for Odyssey, BitChute, join the Telegram. This is where this is coming from now, Telegram. You, you can get a burner phone or a burner phone number uh, various places. You can use the Google burner app um, for free or just simply buy a phone. It might be you, – you never know when you need a second phone. You can get a phone for like 40 bucks and a SIM card type of thing. To get on Telegram and Odyssey, you need those things. Or do you support Channel and Coffee, the various other links. Telegram and Gab and Odyssey, for me, seem to be the place, the ways to go forward. So this is Laura Towler, who has been debanked and goes, oh, we're fighting wars overseas. It's like, yeah, we get, you know, there are people in America and the UK who, or Europe in general, don't know, they don't understand, like, oh, yeah, people have been, their banks have kicked them off. Right of center people. If you're right of center, the banks will kick you off. It's like, What's going on with the banks? Who's who's running these banks? Why are they so politically biased? Like if you're in the UK and you're a European uh, nationalist, an English nationalist, uh, you you love your country, all of a sudden you're dangerously right 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 wing. What has happened in the past five or ten five years really? If you're not a globalist, you're a dangerous right wing Nazi. If you want to see your country, England re- remain English, you're dangerous. That's where we are now. Uh, the only thing we can do is try to wake up enough people to get this fixed. But that only works. You have to spread the message, even little things like this. So she's actually been debanked before, a couple of years ago, which is a bank. She was out and about. Bank closed her account. And she's like, she's a woman shopping by herself in, I don't know, I guess England, I think. And um, all of a sudden, it's like her cards don't work. It's like, why w- one, why would you cancel my account? Two, why wouldn't you tell me ahead of time? Like, give me a warning. At least this letter, they're giving her a warning. But like, why wouldn't? Why would you just you spring it on some lady who's out shopping? All of a sudden, she can't use Uber. She can't use her cards. She can't shop. How's she supposed to? What's she supposed to do? It's it's a real creepy thing. It's a real scary thing. It's like you don't uh, you don't live in the nation you thought you lived in. And you know, if banks have the power to do that, they're so intertwined with your daily life. Uh, then really you should have protections um, for banking, for your political viewpoints. If you're a a patriot, an English patriot, and all of a sudden that's dangerously far right, that's insane. Anyway, so this is from Laura Tyler. She's got a a tea company online. Uh, I forget what it's called, though. Um, But check out her Telegram. She's on Odyssey. Odyssey is like her mainstay platform. I think she does stuff with Mark Collette, who I think is also English. There's, I mean, there's so many people on the right now, it's kind of hard to keep track of everybody. So um, they're emailing her to let her know, we decided to close your accounts. Uh, they've given her two months, which is, is at least cool. I guess you can find a credit union. But the thing is, I want to know who these banks are, who's running them, who's making these decisions, who's pulling the strings, why do they have a political bias, why are they so openly globalist and against English people, European people, or European Americans who are nationalists? Uh, that. It's like, does it seem fair to you that you should do that you should be able to do this to people? And if it fundamentally doesn't seem fair, then we need to do something about it. Sorry for the disruption. Uh, unexpected this is. Uh, you're still a customer. Try to make this a smooth uh, concept. At least they gave her two months. That's something. Um, so this is unfortunately we can't tell you why we've closed your accounts. We can't share the specific reason for closing your accounts. It's because she's a right of center English patriot in, in England. Keep in mind, but also keep in mind that English, the English in England will be a minority in a few decades uh, unless you do something about it. And just even to say that and say like, oh, yeah, well, we we need to stop that. England has to be for the English. Europe has to be for the Europeans. Um, We'll get you deplatformed and uh, and debanked. That's where we are now. You don't live in the country you thought you live in. So we can't share this information. We regularly review, sometimes close accounts as part of our, well, it's not your legal or regulatory responsibilities. You're discriminated against her because she's a, a right of center English woman. And that's the truth of the matter. So um, that's email she re- she received from her bank, I guess Monzo, it must be an English bank, informing me that, I mean, to say it's an English bank is a bit, um, a bit tricky. Anyway, this is the, the I mean, you know, Banks are connected, and there's overrepresentation among the far globalist left. This group of people uh, who are really pulling the strings. And the thing is, if you want to control a nation without controlling armies, you control the dissemination of information, the media, and the flow uh, of money. Um, the banks, and I, I, you know, I have that Aristotle quote uh, from like almost two thousand years ago, and he was talking about the danger of the banks. Um, anyway, so she said she's a kind of a milk toast right of center uh, person uh, maybe a bit further to the right of milk toast but you know 
in 2020, it's like, yeah, yeah, she'd be moderately right. But a few years ago, she would be, she would have been average. It's just the window is shifting so far to the globalist left. And it's like this, it's just a done decision that's been made to go, yeah, we're going to globalize Europe. We're going to, we're going to open the borders to Europe and it's not going to be Europe anymore. It's like, well, who made, who made that decision? Cause, uh, you know, they say like, Oh, we were never asked. Uh, I mean, you're setting yourself up for civil war. You know, maybe this should have been open and discussed or it should have been tried in a test city or a test country. It's like, no, they just did it. They just put it's all this started post World War II. I, I would, this is for the secondary YouTube channel. I want to get too, too based. Um, but uh, this all started post World War II. There's a long history of it. You got to go on Odyssey and bitch you. Join my Telegram. Join, I can give you these other Telegrams. You can you can find uh, um, people post links in Telegram. Telegram and Odyssey are the are the path for it. And Gab too. I mean, I know Twitter's a lot of fun, but Twitter is not where you're having real talks. Uh, Gab and Telegram are where you're having real talks. So anyway, I mean, if you if you don't think it's fair that um, someone someone should be discriminated against by their bank for being uh, a European in Europe or a European American and um, being on the right of center politically. Like, is she a terrorist? Has she committed any illegal acts? No, she's just a, some chick with a kid over in, in England, I guess. It's just, she hasn't advocated anything illegal. She's just not a terrorist. And you have, you have literal, I don't want to say that word too often, but you have literal people who commit malum and say acts in England and America who have bank accounts. But right of center, fair-skinned people of the light, the European people, get kicked out of banks. That should strike you as insane. And if it strikes enough people of, as insane, then we need to do something about it uh, de facto and de jure to have rights to not have our bank. Oh, they're a private company. No, uh, you can say there's a, uh, at least in America, there's, there's a, a constitutional argument to be made to say that they're um, they're so intertwined with state contacts that they can be um, judged. Uh, you have to afford legal protections from them. There's a, that's a common uh, First Amendment argument to be made. Anyway, and then that thus you need you know due process protections. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, check uh, Laura Towler out on uh, Telegram and bit shoot. Um, and she's got Laura Towler's T. I don't know where to find that. She's probably on our Odyssey channel. Uh, she had a YouTube channel, so did Mark Colette, and a bunch of the other people had YouTube channels. They all got kicked off YouTube. They all got kicked off YouTube. Anyone who's the right of center is suddenly persona non grata on uh, social media, probably Twitter too. Telegram is the path forward. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, support channel if you can on coffee, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.